And how many people would love to leave a legacy of a clean, green, and sustainable planet as opposed to a giant check in the bank for future generations? Pathways to Sustainability emerged uh, from the desire of community leaders to pull together the, and realize the sustainability goals that they were setting in communities. The unique aspects of planning Pathways to Sustainability is that we can bring together um, academic institutions, community leaders, industries, civic organizations that are promoting sustainability in the community and redefine what does is, what is implementation of sustainability look like in your community? What are the innovations? What should we showcase? Um, and this is the real gem of the Pathways to Sustainability legacy. I think one of the things that makes this conference unusual across the country is that um, I know in uh, the table that I was at, there was a, a developer's, uh, an engineer with a, d a major land developer. There was an Aboriginal person from just uh, uh, south of here. And the mayor of the town was at my table. And all across the room, you could see this enormous variety of people. The conference planning team uh, is comprised of you know, community leaders. Um, and when I say community leaders, these are, these are citizens that are active in their community association or, or non-profit organizations that are advancing, whether it's food security or walkable cities or, or um, you know, greening uh, the waterways. And these community citizens uh, sitting in a room with municipal planning officials um, academic institutions, uh, industry associations and chambers of commerce, and we're all talking about the same community. So there's the realities. Cooperation is possible. We can have economic reasons and moral suasion to, that they are better than, than just rules and regulations. We need better design. We know we can work with landowners to make them good stewards and we can make fiscally responsible agriculture part and parcel of our town plans. I think that's the goal that we have to get to. That's the thing that human ingenuity can do. When we are faced with a problem, we don't necessarily have to reinvent wheels. We don't necessarily have to come up with some incredibly elaborate technological fix. We just really, and this would be my, my thinking about what sustainability does really great, is it says, no, what the, the problem is not the tools you've got, it's how you're using them. And if you rethink it in this new framework, come at the problem looking at it, you know, as, as uh, a, a number of the other panelists mentioned, you know, what, sort of step out of the, the mold you're in, look at it again, you'll find you don't need new technological stuff. You know, going back to play is, is a strategy for a lot of things today. And remembering how we played and why we played with Lego, um, you know, it's great. It's what we really need to build more of, um, in, I think in Alberta especially, is culture. A lot of that, I think, has to do with urban design. How are you constructing the municipalities to begin with? What are your neighborhood plans looking like? How are you, um, what are the interactions of people? You need people interacting, I think, to, to, to really grow the kind of culture, community uh, culture, that is going to support a vibrant arts. The food, the wine, um, the people, the culture, the music, you know, those pieces um, are often left out of a, of a learning experience and a conference experience. And, and this conference, I think, really tries to capture all those elements of our community um, and celebrate those aspects of our community that make them unique places, unique places.